Hi everybody, George Steel 88 with another video. This is the Steelers versus Falcons week one game preview, so let's get into it. Still a nation, football is back. And it is back. We're going to talk about this preview of week one this Sunday against the Atlanta Falcons. Well, Steelers make, make um almost a lot of noise in the offseason by by signing Russell Wilson, acquiring Justin Fields, and among others, man, but the draft they had they had a hell of a good one. So but let's talk about the uh, Falcons. I, mean, I think about a week or two ago, they got a little bit better on defense by signing Justin Simmons from Denver and acquiring Magic Judon from New England. Well, I think the defense has got a bit better by signing these two. And amongst others, like, they got, like, Jesse Bates, A.J. Terrell Jr., Gary Jarrett, And this defensive tenant named David Onyemeda or whatever his last name is. And then, yeah, and they got Kaden um, Ellis on defense, man. I mean, their defense has got pretty good. Ever since, like I said before, the signing of Justin Fields and Matthew Judon. I mean, they improved defensively. And on offense, of course, they signed they um signed uh, Kirk Cousins from Minnesota, and they drafted um. What's that quarterback's name? I forgot, yo. They drafted this quarterback. Um, what's his name? Michael Penix from Washington. They drafted this quarterback named Michael Penix from Washington, and and that rubbed the Atlanta Falcon, Falcon fans the wrong way. I mean, you already got cut. I mean, I know I understand Kirk Cousins in his thirties and all that, but I think they need. Um, I think Michael Pence could earn for Kirk Cousins, as long as he's on the um, Land Falcons roster. So, so, so yeah. And on offense, they got a running back named B. John Robinson, could be a threat for um, Falcons offense. And they got um, like wide receivers named Drake London and tight end Kyle Pitts. If I say it, if I say it right, so yeah, yeah, Kyle Pitts. So, so yeah, man. I mean, Atlanta Falcons. They got a little bit better on offense, but somewhat better on somewhat a lot better on defense. So, I mean, I mean, for our Steelers though, we got uh, Russell Wilson, who, who may for a while I heard from yesterday and today that he. May not play, but we might, but we could see Justin Fields at quarterback. So, and still, they did not sign a second route receiver, whereas the, where we drafted right in the draft or free agency, because we was, we've been hearing these brand are you rumors and all that crap, but now Brandon, are you gonna sign a new deal with the 49ers? So, so we gotta lean on, so we gonna be stuck with Van, either Van Jefferson or. Calvin Oliver or Roman Wilson, so, so yeah, man. Um, so because because Justin Fields could probably start on Sunday, barring any changes from from Russell Wilson, because he's still dealing with that calf injury. So, yeah, and, and new offense we got we got a new offensive coordinator named Arthur Smith, who we already know, and. Because it's going to be a totally different offense than what we've seen with Matt Canada last year with uh, Arthur Smith. I hope, we can, I hope we can run the ball a little bit more with Najee Harris and Jerry Warren, who, by the way, is going to play this Sunday after suffering that hamstring injury on preseason. And the right receiver, it's going to be, it's going to be uh, almost all George, George Pickens, some of former Falcon Van Jefferson. So, and the tight ends, Hopefully, we, hopefully, um, Brett Favre move and Darnell Washington gets to step up their game. So, now defense, this gets this is good because we signed um former Raven Patrick Queen to patrol the middle of the, middle of the field along with Atlanta Roberts, and then um, 
Peyton Wilson is going to be used in either nickel packages or dime packages. And, and, then, new, and then we got a new slot corner in Benny Bishop, though, who's going to play some slot corner. Joy Porter Jr., I, for what I heard on social media, saying, I don't know, he said he's expecting a different role. So we'll see about that. But I don't know if he's going to stay on a number one wide receiver too long. From my part, my point of view. So, and if it's safety and safeties, um, newly acquired Deshaun Elliott is gonna make Mika Fitzpatrick play his game. Cause, cause last year from Mika Fitzpatrick, I didn't see a lot of ball hawking from him, cause he was um in the box which he doesn't do. So, I expect different things from Mika Fitzpatrick going back to. What he did when, he, when we were we were acquiring him. So. So yeah, man. And Dante Jackson, man, it's going it's going to benefit Joy Porter Jr. Or Joy Porter could benefit from him. And we got Corey Trice who play could play some. After suffering that um, it's the injury, see the any injury last season. So. So yeah, man, and and um. And then, and then this guy, um, Nick Herbert, man, when TJ White needs a blow or Alex Heisman needs a blow, he can come in and, and, and wreck the game. From what I've what I seen preseason, he was wrecking the game in preseason. So, so yeah, man. Um, so my, um, to my um, gameplay strategy for the Steelers is for the offense, run the ball, control the game. Run the ball, because, because, because Minnesota. I mean, that's Minnesota. I mean, um, because um, Atlanta Falcons front is not all that good. Their their front is not not all that not all that good. I know they got Gary Jarrett, um, defensive end, but but Gary Jarrett is more of a pass rusher, in my opinion. So, and then um. And then we gotta stay away from AJ Terrell Jr. and be aware and be aware of their safeties because the new acquired Justin Simmons. So yeah, because we can run the ball against Atlanta Falcons because their front is not all that good, in my opinion. They don't have a great front. So so we can run the ball and control the game from from sixty minutes wherever Najee or Jalen Warren. Now for the defense, I know we've been saying this for like years and all that type of stuff. We gotta get after Kirk Cousins. We gotta um, get after him, and we got the front to do that. We can't can't hear signing a new contract, and then and then we got t and guys like T.J. Watt, Alex Highsmith, and Nick Herbert, um, creating Harvick for um for the defense. So. And BJ and B. John Robinson, man, we got can't let him get go off. We got to be on our game against BJ Robinson, and we got to try to shut down Cal Pitts or slow slow up Cal Cal Pitts because all these years we have pr trouble covering the tight ends. Now we got Patrick Queen or either um Peyton Winston to do those things. So. So yeah, man. So we do those things, we can come up with a W though. I know everybody's picking against us to lose against, picking against us against the um, Falcons. So I'm not gonna get caught up in that. So, so yeah, man. What you, so let me know what you think down in the conversation down below what I talk about in this preview. Because other than that, oh yeah, and then Cordell Patterson, man, who we require, who we also require for Atlanta, could do some things on a return game. So. And I expect a breakout. I, and I expect Calvin also to do be a breakout player for the Steelers, because he's more likely gonna be in a spot and use his speed to take the top off of coverages, like I've been saying before. So, and then I hope Roman Wilson can, can see some action too, because he ain't doing anything in the preseason because he was um, injured. So, so yeah, man. Hope, hope. Russell Wilson can heal from his calf injury. If he doesn't, then it's just a field's time. 
So other than that, that's all for this video. This is George Steel 88. See you guys in my next video. And as always, here we go, Steelers. Here we go.